Hey everyone, this is Ashanti. Welcome, welcome back to my channel, Ashanti Activity. In this video, I'm going to read Genesis chapter 1. So, I'm going to read the description about what you will hear or what you will know based on the verses that Genesis chapter 1 will talk about. So, it says here, verse 1. The creation of heaven and earth. Verse 3 of the light. Verse 6 of the firmament. Verse 9 of the earth separated from the waters. Verse 11 and made fruitful. Verse, <laughs> verse 14 of the sun, moon, and stars. Verse 20 of fish and fowl. Verse 24 of beasts and cattle. Verse 26, of man in the image of God. And verse 29, also the appointment of food. So those verses that I named are where those categories in Genesis chapter 1 start. Now I'm going to actually read, starting at Genesis chapter 1. In my Bible is the... 1611 King James Version of the Bible. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. In the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. And the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place. And let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth. And the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind. And God saw that it was good. In the evening and the morning were the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. In the evening and the morning were the fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of the heaven. And God created great whales, and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let fowl multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. 
And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, af creeping thing and beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in thee for the, which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat, food. <laughs> and to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat. And it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Well, that is the end of Genesis chapter 1. Um, I would say that I believe that reading the Bible day and night is important. No, to be honest, I don't read it every night, I would say, or every day, but I do read it very often. I believe that it should be read night and day. But I do hope that um, many of you learned something from that reading. And also, I would love to give more in-depth, I would say more in-depth discussions about what I read or just discussions in general about what I read. Because as a Christian, I am learning more about the Bible and there is a lot to learn or more about subjects in the Bible, learning more about who God is, who Jesus Christ is, and how God wants us to be. And so, yeah, I will say thank you for watching, whether you watched a few seconds, one second, you watch midway through this video or, you know, you watch most of it or finish all the video. I want to say. 